Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Over the weekend, leaks had been reported that a trailer for the upcoming game Star Wars Squadron was going to drop on Monday, June 15th, and sure enough, the trailer did and I've gotta say guys, I'm cautiously optimistic here. According to StarWars.com, the brand new game is set to be released on October 2nd and will be a first person starfighter game that will feature a story mode, a multiplayer mode, and will also feature deep craft, customization, and in-depth strategy. Additionally, players will be able to play as both New Republic and Imperial pilots, where they'll engage in a 5v5 multiplayer space battle. The space battles will allow players to work with their squadron to execute tactics to destroy the opposing faction's fighters and flagship. As players progress in the game, they'll earn components to modify and enhance their starfighters, such as weapons, hulls, engines, and shields. They'll also gain cosmetic items to customize their cockpit, ship exteriors, flight suits, and helmets, which is always fun and welcomed. One thing that I am really excited about this game is that it will be cross-platform, so it will be supported on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, and VR, so hell yeah for playing with my friends that are console gamers. As mentioned, the game will feature a single-player story mode. Initially, I thought you'd get to pick which faction you'd want to play for, but you'll actually play the story mode as both a New Republic and Imperial Starfighter pilot. The story is going to take place following the Battle of Endor and the destruction of the Second Death star. As a New Republic pilot, you'll be serving in the Vanguard Squadron, a New Republic squadron from the book Alphabet Squadron that was based on the Lodestar, which served as the flagship for our homegirl General Harrison Dula's Barma Battle Group. When playing as an Imperial pilot, players will fight for the Galactic Empire's Titan Squadron. I don't think much is known about Titan Squadron at this time, but the use of red paint on their fighters and helmets makes me believe they're probably an elite fighter squadron in the Imperial Navy. Additionally, players will see some familiar faces, such as our homies Harrison Dula and Wedge Antilles, along with featuring a diverse cast of original characters. The game is going to be $40, and I'm kind of pumped for this game. Typically, I'm much more of a PvP gamer, and pilot games are somewhat meh for me, but I have to admit this game seems pretty sweet and promising. I'm very excited for the story mode, and I'm intrigued to see how much this will tie into Alphabet Squadron and its sequel Shadowfall. Also, anytime we get more stories with Harris and Dula, I'm all for it. I'm also curious how the 5v5 PvP will be. It seems like players will be able to formulate some sort of strategy before beginning the fleet battles, but I'm still not sure how that'll work. If that's the case, I think that would be really cool and really fun. More information and gameplay reveals will be released during EA Play Live on June 18th at 4pm Pacific Time, so I'm excited to see what else we'll get then. All in all, I've gotta say I'm hyped for this game. When leaks started trickling out this weekend, my interest was lukewarm at best, but now I'm definitely excited for this game to drop. At the bare minimum, I think the story mode will be fun, and the PvP has the potential to be cool as well. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for Star Wars Squadrons? And what are you looking forward to the most in the game? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.